What is up, guys? It is Saucy Posse here, back with another video. I haven't been, I'm sorry, I haven't been posting for about a week. Today, I'm trying to get a double upload, even though it is uh, pretty late, as you can see, by outside. But I have to post this video. You know, you probably have seen the ESPN or Bleacher Report notifications that Jamal Adams has been traded to the Seattle Seahawks. Okay, give me one second. I literally have a blanket, guys. I mean, I realize I, I have, like, tons of jerseys. I'm hyped. You guys already know that I'm hyped. I'm a huge Seahawks fan. I, I, I could consider myself one of the biggest Seahawks fans uh, of all time right now. Or, right now. Uh, but this is a huge trade right here and is it it's actually good for both sides of the deal nobody really lost the trade as we could see the seahawks are looking to win now and russell wilson is also with getting a baby and naming it win literally he named it win not sure if that is a name but he named it win cool uh, but uh, you got a trade that includes Bradley McDougal, the old uh, safety for the Seahawks, who, uh, in my opinion, was pretty good, underrated. Nobody really knows about him. He, I think he did get hurt last season, but it, it was a good pickup for the Jets. Equal uh, tr swap in the safeties, um, and then the Jets getting more. But Jamal Adams, easily the best strong safety in the league. I'd say the second best is Mink er, is uh, Jam uh, Harrison Smith, and then uh, he's arguably the best safety in the league. Maybe Earl Thomas or Minka is better than him, but I think he's the best. And this is being biased. I talked about it in my Jets predicting every NFL team's record video. He, what I I, I talked about, he was a stud, right? And he was great, but um. The trade details, the Seahawks got Jamal Adams and a fourth round pick for uh, either, I think it's 2021, and then the Jets, this is going to be good. Obviously, I said Bradley McDougald for help on that strong safety after losing Jamal Adams, but then you got uh, two first round picks, one in 2021, which could end up, if they tank this year, which could end up with somebody like Justin Fields or Trevor Lawrence. And then you got a first round pick, and then you can get a second pick in the first round, which uh, is actually going to be huge. Um, but then you got another first round pick in 2022, which could also end up being somebody good. Um, you never know. I, I, most people are going one and done, so we'll see the high school prospects, prospects for sure. But then they also got a second or third round pick uh, for 2021. This is a good deal for both sides. This is going to be a Jets team that Sam Darnold's on. I thought he could have had a good year, and he got Le'Veon Bell at running back, which hopefully he could come back to his Steelers form. I did think this was going to be a good team with Jamal Adams, no doubt about it. Um, it they did have a tough schedule after doing that predicting video. That will be in the first link in the description for you Jets fans out there or anybody that just wants to watch the video. Uh, but, yeah, as... Um, I think it's a young team. They obviously drafted Makai Becton, who I wanted to draft, in my opinion. Uh, I think he's a great offensive lineman, top three in this year's draft for sure, which will definitely help Sam Darnold not see ghosts. Sorry for that joke. Uh, but then you got the wide receivers, which is where they need to improve, uh, and hopefully they can get a good one for the draft. There were a lot of like five-star, four-star prospects for wide receivers uh, going into 2021, so maybe they maybe they'll go what it done, and um, it could end up good for them. Uh, I do like the team overall. So you got C.J. Mosley is leading the defense now, but as you got the Seahawks. Um, this is going to be a stud team. This team wants to win now. Uh, that trade really was huge. And if they sign Clowney, that's going to be a stud defense. You already got the best middle, you got the best linebacker uh, in the league right now in Bobby Wagner. And then uh, top three quarterback, Russell Wilson. Uh, a running back who sometimes is underrated, sometimes is overrated in Chris Carson. And then you got a speedster, Rashad Penny also. Uh, DK Metcalf. Super good, big, very much potential. Tyler Lockett, uh, super fast and made some incredible catches last year. The offensive line is where you need to work on. Uh, but maybe, we all know Russell is dangerous and he could make plays out of anything. Uh, so this could go from 
this could be a great season for them. Maybe they can win the division. Hopefully we can win the division. Not even going to lie. Hopefully we can win the division, even though with San Francisco and an Arizona team that might end up being good. Hopefully we can win that division. Uh, but uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those bells for more uploads like this. I will be doing a predicting every NFL team's record, which... Um, I will be posted either tomorrow or today right after this. So make sure to subscribe because once we have 50 subscribers, we will be doing a giveaway. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace.